The world number one, Serena Williams, is com going to come up later in the night session, but now we are joined by the current uh, world number one, Novak Djokovic. You didn't even sweat out there. What was going on? Was that the best match you've played? Well, one of the better performances, uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, that I had in the center court here in, in US Open. And this year, uh, definitely the best two sets that I've played. And uh, it came in the right moment. You know, I'm, uh, I'm aware of the fact that as the tournament goes on, I'm going to have to uh, be ready for uh, better quality players, you know, longer rallies. But uh, I've been working very hard physically and mentally to prepare myself for, for this tournament. And, uh, you know, I, I'm at a really good spot now. Did you feel, do you feel more confident now being in the quarterfinals than you did going into the tournament? Has, has something changed in this first week of the Open? Yes, uh, I just feel more, more comfortable on the court, hitting the ball. I, I have, you know, th that's, that's what happens, you know. I mean, uh, as the tournament goes on and you feel more and more confident hitting, going for some shots and being more aggressive. So that's what happened today. You know, it was uh, quite windy at the start. Then uh, conditions changed a little bit, and then I was, you know, I was playing fantastic tennis. Yeah, um, obviously we saw Roger Federer go out. I have to ask you about that. When you see when you see him go out, people start saying, should he stop? Should he not stop? I mean, we all know he's got the game in him to threaten you guys. Still, I mean, you want to see him keep playing, don't you? Yeah, of course. But I think the, the speculations are always there, obviously, and then people need to talk about uh, what's going on uh, because he hasn't had last two, three years as, uh, you know, as successful as he had mm. in probably the last seven, eight, nine years. He was so dominant. And, and people probably expect him to play always his best. And, and at the end of the day, it's not that bad. You know, he's 30, 31, 32 years old, and there is Tommy Haas, 35, you know, a couple of the guys who are still playing great tennis at that age. So, uh, I mean, he, uh, looking at him, he, he plays well, he moves well, not as good maybe as when he was number one of the world, but you know, I think people need to give him a break, For sure. you know, because he's focusing on grand slams and it's uh, it's normal that there is a new generation of, of tennis players who are who are just uh, more successful and move better on the court. Yes. OK, Great. Novak, we're going to let you rest now after that hard match. You probably want to hit the practice courts now because it was so short. So <laughs> no. thanks. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks.